Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane and I'm back with another tutorial review and today Moon Racer from Power of the Primes and this is a far superior mold to Chromia and I love Chromia. I thought Chromia was a straight repaint with a different head sculpt and adding this thing here for the combined mode and I thought it was just gonna be, uh, you know, the same thing Completely different engineering to an extent. I mean, it's the same basis. It's actually most of the parts are similar, but the foot and everything, uh, it's uh, it's different. So I'm gonna do a side by side a lot with Chromia. Um, so just to uh, you know, give you a uh, thorough uh, review, but I know this is an older figure and you don't come here for uh, the latest stuff. And because, you know, I just review what I feel like reviewing. So. And I feel like reviewing this girl that I picked up at TFCon Toronto 2022, uh, which I had a great time. And uh, today I'm power shooting because there's a lot of toys and, and you don't see it, but there's a lot of toys on my shelf that I need to clear and put on shelves. So. Without any further delay, I'm gonna review Moon Racer. I'm excited to do so, but uh, check out at the end of the video, make sure you uh, get your 10% discount code from my sponsor, DJC Collectibles. And also check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm absolutely proud of. And now on to the review. on supply is so dangerously low we're talking survival all right straight out of the box which is a lot harder not to damage that box but you have that uh, power of the prime card thick uh, cardboard i like that much better than the uh, masterpiece uh, card i have for sun streaker so it looks pretty good um and then you know grants enemy one shot at redemption before blasting them uh, and then the whole power of the prime thing. I, um, I haven't followed that series that much So I don't know exactly what all of these things are, but the card looks pretty good You have the hand piece which basically it could be a uh, left hand or a Right hand for combine mode, but it's also serve as jetpack and booster and I'm not a big fan of this because uh, I have no intention of getting the uh, the whole combiner for uh, for this but I know there's a adapter kit for Chromia to be able to, you know, get in on the gimmick. So, and uh, but I don't have that Elito one, so no, not for me. But you know, it, it serves its purpose. Her gun, because she's the best shot in the universe. It's pretty good actually. I like it. And then uh, the instructions, power of the prime instructions were uh, not bad for its time. Hold on. But there you go. You know, does a job. Press pause when you need it. And then you have the instruction for limb mode. So if you want to make an arm or if you want to make a foot out of her. Which I'll try to show in, uh, later, but I have no interest in this combined mode. Because to me, she's just one of the female Autobots that uh, I always wanted to have when I was a kid. So this, this, the box itself, you know, pretty good. Product shot, standard, and then they show you Alchemist Prime, Alpha Trion, Leech Maximo. I have no clue what that means. Maybe I should rewatch Power of the Prime, but I don't even think that they had this in the show. So maybe it's a comic book thing though. Uh, 14 steps, which are very different than uh, Chromia, which I'm, I was amazed by that. Looks pretty good. So, box is done. Uh, Chromia uh, Moon Racer herself looks really good. The face sculpt is amazing. I like it. Rotates on a ball joint 360. Uh, the arm will spin like a Ferris wheel. You can merry go around with uh, that waist at two spots. You have this that rotates, just the crotch, and then the whole belt area. Once this is down, you can move again. So double waist. I guess rotation but it's mostly for transformation you have a knee band actually double knee band that's that's different from what i remember from other uh, female uh, transformers that's pretty good this part doesn't move and the foot you have up and down and a little rocker 
Not bad. And you have, yeah, you can have a bit of attitude. Oh, well, not too much attitude. And that's pretty much it. You have a huge backpack, but necessary. Because honestly, with the backpack properly placed, she stands better than when I, the backpack, when she comes out of the box, the backpack is down and she doesn't stand very well. But I want to point out the major difference in mold with um, her f fellow fembot, uh, Chromia. I mean, it's, it's, you can pretty much, okay, and she's a little bit loose. So. Sorry, Moonracer. Alita's orders. Okay, Firestar, roll out. Okay, so beside the, the mold details in, um, you know, like the knee pads being different and all that, that's cool. But the transformation, which Again, I usually never do on screen, but I think that they should have stick with this transformation rather than what they did with uh, Chromia and Nightbird. Because, okay, sure you got this rotation here, and then the foot you peg under, and, and then from this panel here, once you remove this, you pull this up and then it forms the, 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 the car mode. But it's a pain to do. This is actually a pain to to do. And come on, like this. But her, you just take the foot and boom, that's it. Just, there you go. Done. No rotation. This just so you flip it once, you flip it twice, and then you clip this together. I'll do size comparison there because she's easy to transform so I can do okay come on head stay there so then after that you once she's in this mode you can lift her body spin it like this and the head removed again come on okay I guess I guess that's done I'm never gonna be able to see her preg properly again once that's done you just put her arms backward and that's new. So I guess there was improvement on the Chromium mold, but still, I think the transformation is a little better. So once you have this done, you just fold it. And then you peg on the arms and the pegs actually work because Chromium, does, don't, my copy doesn't work properly. And like this, this cleans up so much better. In my opinion, anyway. So that's so that's transformation for Chromia. Um, I'm skipping ahead though, because um, the transformation for Chromia is like the the whole feet is different. I'm not gonna transform her because I actually don't like it. But then the ha the arms it doesn't peg properly. Like this peg doesn't hold, so this arm is always popping out. So. I don't know, not too impressed with Chromio anymore. Like, I love how she looks, but I'm just not a big fan. So now that she's in this mode, let's do the size comparison with Bumble, uh, Origin Bumblebee, Classics Hot Rod, or Class Soundwave, because why not? So I love the car mode. And then you can take this thing here leave it like this but I think you fold it like that so it's kind of a rocket pack something similar to what Sideswipe had in uh, the pilot and that's the thing when you want to plug things that are triple jointed and then the instruction says to do this like that so you add oops that's not supposed to come out and so you add that kind of rocket my kid, four years old, loves this because now she has propulsors and that's how he calls them. So it's really fun for him. I think it just looks goofy. Anyway, all right, so I'm gonna put her in. Oh, maybe I should do the arm thing and then after that do other size comparison. Chromia, get me out of here, get me out! So yeah, that's an arm. So you have the peg here. that's gonna connect to Elita one. And then you have the arm and the, you can rotate this out and pull this up. 
Throw me into a leader one. Request authorization to proceed to headquarters. Request denied. You've got company. A leader one out. So that it looks like a hand. I mean, it, it does look like an arm. I think I'm maybe I'm. No, that's that's how it says to do it. I don't know. It just kind of looks weird, but it's it's better than I expected. So you have the you know protector on the inside, and then you have the legs kind of just very apparent right here. So. But that's what the arm is. Or if you want it to be the other arm, and then you fold it like this, open this up, and then, oh, magical, you have another arm. So, yeah. And now for leg mode. No sign of shockwave. Then let's grab the energy on cubes and split. Come on. And here's foot mode, which is, I don't know, weird. Because the way they do it, you pull out this from under the uh, the hood the arms are just sticking out the connector is gonna go here now so the way they're showing it it's this way not this way because this I don't know makes I don't, know, I, I don't know that's what the picture said that's the foot mode so maybe it's because the Elita combiner is back heavy and it goes I don't know yeah, I'm gonna put her back in robot mode and do some size comparison and the final thoughts. Chromia to Alita 1. Request authorization to proceed to headquarters. Request denied. You've got company. Alita 1 out. So here she is back in robot mode, ready to take a shot. But let's do some size comparison with Iron Factory Last Profit, uh, which is a their uh, interpretation of Alpha Trion, which I really like this version you know they're both part of the resistance again shockwave on cybertron so it was a cool episode fellow female autobot siege chromia which i still like i really do she was actually the first female autobot i bought and i like her it's just that i wish they would have kept this transformation rather than to try to improve something that wasn't broken this is not an improvement over moonracer and the septicon oppressor cyber battalion shockwave with toy hacks decals uh, probably the lamest shockwave that's ever been done because uh, he's a hollow mess, but I like the look of him. Moon Racer! Indian Chromia is a surprisingly fantastic figure. I know it's an older one, I know I'm late. You don't come here for the latest news. I love this mold. I love the scar mold. I love the look of uh, Moonracer. She's fantastic. Now I just need to find Lancer, Firestar, and uh, Greenlight, which are all super expensive or really hard to find. But uh, one day I'll have them. Or maybe in the Legacy line, we'll have new versions, uh, which will be different, uh, yet still very enjoyable. So, because we're getting the new Elita one, which is a different mold. So why not the other fanbots? So there you go, guys. That's my review of Power of the Primes Moonracer. Really happy to have her. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.